have an industrial hygienist come in and actually do testing, physical testing of the air. Very good. Now, Jerry, what are some of the ways to address and solve the indoor air concerns? Indoor air can be broken down into a number of different quadrants. First of all, we have to have proper media filtration. We have to have infiltration of outdoor fresh air. We also need to go across and, and have the proper humidification. And of course, utmost, we need purification. Patrick, what makes Second Wind's approach so unique? A second wind is unique in that we don't just look at filtration, we actually partner it with ultraviolet disinfection and photocatalytic oxidation. So we can not only address your dust and your dirt, which a normal filter would, but we can also address molds, mildews, viruses, bacteria, and also odors and off gases. Now, Patrick, can you explain photocatalytic oxidation technology? A photocatalytic, and this from the standpoint of how we use it, we use the high intensity ultraviolet lamp. Uh, and the catalyst surface area, which in our case is the titanium and the titanium dioxide. Uh, what happens is as the contamination or odor or off gas goes through your heating and air conditioning system and comes in contact with this catalyst, it'll actually absorb it. Uh, and, and there are byproducts that are non-harmful that come of that, like water, for instance, and carbon. Kind of works like a sponge and absorb how a sponge absorbs water. Very good. Now, has this technology been tested? Yes, we have various universities that have done testing uh, for us and on their own. Uh, we also have independent research facilities that have done testing. Uh, and we have done almost like clinical studies ourselves on site locations for dentist offices, veterinary clinics, casinos, and also many, many homes. Mm -hmm. Jerry, tell us about the increasing concern about toxic indoor molds. Mold is going to dwarf the asbestos epidemic that we have had. Uh, our homes are built so tight now, the insulation is placed in there in, without forethought of vapor barriers, and uh, it's, uh, it's going to become, in my estimation, an epidemic. Very good. Now, Patrick, are whole house air purifier systems better than portable devices that we see so much of? Yes, they are, Al. Uh, with portable devices, in order to really purify or filter your home, you would have to buy one for every room. And for most people, that just wouldn't be cost effective. Uh, with our product, we can put one system in, in your heating and air conditioning system, and that will purify and filter your whole home. Uh, in our case, again, it'll take care of the, the dust, the dirt, the mold, and also any kind of odors and off gases that you would have. Very good. And now, most portables don't do that. They'll just address dust. And they dirt. just get the, the area concerned, right? Sure. Now, Patrick, how effective is your system dealing with this question we just talked about, and that's mold? Our system is, is very effective from the standpoint that we will not only disinfect surface mold, like growth that you would get on your coil in your air conditioning system or in a drain pan where the water drips off and, and it's kind of like a reservoir. Uh, we can also do moving air. Uh, our products are of the highest intensity. The lamps and ballasts are designed specific, specifically for uh, heating and air conditioning systems, uh, whereas in a lot of cases you cannot necessarily take care of molds, mildews, and viruses if you don't have the ultraviolet and the photocatalytic oxidation partnered together. Very good. Now at this juncture, gentlemen, we ask our guests to bring our viewers into the future and to make a prediction on what you see in your uh, particular business over the near term, the next year or two. So what would be your approach to that, Jerry, or your prediction? I see that air purification is, is going to become the most important facet of indoor air quality because we are addressing the small micrometer sizes of, of particulate and gases, et cetera, that are going through the, the system. Now, what's your take on that, Patrick? Uh, we're basically going away from portable devices, and that's where the mainstream has been until now, and going with the whole house approaches, because obviously we'll be able to address more of the contamination in a home by doing a whole house air purification approach as opposed to just a portable approach. Very good. And Dr. Moss, what's your educated picture of this? Well, Al, um, it, we're becoming increasingly aware of just how 
broad a public health problem, indoor air quality and sick building syndrome are. And where I see things going is that the public is going to become more aware of this and is going to be demanding whole house filters that really work. And one of the things that I like about this company's product is that they have really moved a step, a step ahead mm -hmm. in terms of combining not only particle removal and not only UV disinfection, but the photocatalytic action to really actually be able to kill these toxic molds at the source, I think is setting this technology apart. And as we see a more pu a greater public awareness, I think that we're going to see a, a movement towards these more sophisticated systems. Good. Now, once again, the clock tells me we're going to have to terminate this very important and very interesting subject. But before doing so, I want to thank you very, very much for your very fine presentation. Thank you, Al. And Patrick, I want to thank you as well for your very, very knowledgeable current picture of the situation. Thank you, Al. And as always, we're indebted to you. Thank you, Al. And uh, this is certainly an important issue we've taken on here today. And thank you for watching. Until next time for World Business Review, I'm Alexander Hayes.